Now the Squid Game has taken the internet by storm. Today, we're gonna play the mock Squid Game. The rules of the game are very simple. There are just three rules and you get to answer four questions. You get exactly three seconds to find out the answer. If you get all the four right, then you are the winner. So let's get started with the mock Squid Game. Now, before we start off with the game, I want you to have a strong foothold of the rules. Now, the topic that we are going to deal with today is about joint products. Now, what do you mean by joint products? Joint products are those products which are processed through a common process. Let's take the example of dairy products. This is milk, cream, cheese, butter, etc. Now, what happens when dairy products are produced? The raw milk is obtained in the plant and they do the checking to see whether there is any adulteration, that is whether there is extra water added to the milk and only after the quality is checked will it enter the plant. And then what happens? It is pasteurized and then the milk is split into the milk and the cream. So there is a common process that is taking place. That is the quality checks that are undertaken, the pasteurization that is done and only then milk is segregated into the two products. So from a common process, there emerges two products at the same time. So these products are known as joint product. So let's see a picture to understand this better. So first, the raw milk is obtained in the factory. Then you have a joint process for which costs are incurred. And then you get the two joint products, that is the milk and the cream. Now the point at which the joint products are separated is known by the name the split off point. Now the company has got a facility to either sell the milk and the cream as such or they can further process into a different product. For example, milk could be further processed into strawberry milk and the cream could be further processed into ice cream. Now the question that the company has to answer is, is it better to sell the milk as such or is it better to further process the milk into the strawberry milk and then sell it? Likewise for cream, is it better to sell the cream as such or is it better to further process it and sell it as ice cream? Now, whenever we are taking a decision, it is the relevant costing techniques that have to be applied. So do you recollect the three basic features of relevant cost that we studied? Even if you don't remember, don't worry. I will walk you through the three features which will form the three basic rules of our mock squid game. So the first rule is relevant costs are those costs which are related to the future, which means that if a cost has been incurred in the past, then we should not include those costs for decision making. Now, the second rule is it should be incremental. What is the meaning of incremental? It should be additional. We should consider only those expenses and income which are additional when we make the decision. So what is the decision that we are going to take? Whether to further process the joint products or not to further process the joint products, correct? So the relevant cost for the further processing decisions will be, is it an additional expense that you're incurring when you're taking the decision? Or is it an additional income when you're taking the decision? That is only additional or incremental expenses and income should be considered for relevant costing. Now coming to the third rule, it should be related to cash flows. That is, physically cash should go out of your hand. And in this case, please remember that cash flows will include either a cash outflow, that is physically you have to pay cash, or it will include a lost cash inflow. That is, we are losing out on an inflow because of our decision to further process. With these three rules, you are ready for the game. Now suppose the joint process cost that you incur is T. 
$10,000. The question is, for further processing decisions, are joint process cost of $10,000 relevant? To help you answer this question, I will copy the three basic rules of relevant costing. So all that you have to see is whether the joint process cost of $10,000 satisfies the three basic features. That is, when we are making the decision, is it related to the future? Is it incremental? That is, is it an additional expense? And the final feature is, is it affecting our cash flows? If all the three conditions are satisfied, it is a relevant cost. So your time starts now. Time up. Let's see the answer. It's the red light. You should not be including the joint process cost as a relevant cost. Why? Think for yourself. When are we taking the decision? We are taking the decision of whether to further process when we are here. That is, we are at the split-off point. It is at the split-off point that we have to decide of whether to further process or not, which means that at that particular point, joint process cost is a past cost. That is, it is not related to the future. The first feature is itself not satisfied. So the answer is, no, it will not be included as it is not related to the future. Moving further, if you sell the milk as such, you get an amount of $20,000. And if you further process, the amount that you get when you sell the strawberry milk is $50,000, which means that you are having an increase of revenue to the tune of $30,000 because of your decision to further process. Now, the question is, for further processing decisions, is incremental revenue of $30,000 relevant? Your time starts now. Time up. It's the green light. Yes, you should be including the amount of $30,000 as relevant because it is an incremental revenue. Because of your decision, you are getting additional revenue. Moving forward, if the further processing cost amounts to $20,000, then for further processing decisions, is the further processing cost of $20,000 relevant? Your time starts now. Time up. It's the green light. Yes, it should be included as it is an additional expense or it is an incremental cost. Moving forward, suppose the further processing is done in a section of the factory building. Now, if you were not further processing, that section of the building could have been let out and we would have received an amount of $5,000 as rental income. But just because of our decision to further process, we will be losing out on the rental income, lost cash inflow. Now, the question is, for further processing decisions, is lost cash inflow of $5,000 relevant? Your time starts now. Time up. It's the green light. So the answer is yes, it should be included as it is a lost cash inflow. So let's do the final calculation to see whether we should further process the milk into the strawberry milk. So the final calculation taking into consideration only the relevant items are incremental revenue, that is 50,000 minus 20,000 is relevant. It amounts to $30,000 and the further processing cost is also relevant. So we have to reduce the incremental cost of $20,000. And finally, the lost cash inflow of 5,000, which we are losing is also relevant. The net revenue that you would be getting if you further process is 30,000 minus 20,000 minus 5,000, giving a positive figure of $5,000. Since it is positive, our final decision will be to process the milk into the strawberry milk because it will yield an additional revenue of $5,000 to the company. 
Let's have a quick recap before we wind up. For further processing decisions, we should first consider the incremental revenue. From the incremental revenue, reduce the incremental cost. Further reduce any lost cash inflow. Another word for lost cash inflow is opportunity cost. Once you reduce this, you get the net revenue. If net revenue is positive, then you should further process. If it is negative, you should not further process and the product has to be sold at split off point. Now the rules that apply to joint products further processing decisions are applicable for any product. That is, even if it is not a joint product, it is the very same rules that apply. Did you emerge as a winner in the game? Even if you've got one or two answers wrong, don't you worry, because I can vouch that you would be thorough with the concepts by now. That's the true winner. With this, we come to an end of today's session. If you have benefited from the video, do support the channel by clicking the subscribe and the like button. And do share it with your friends whom you feel will benefit from the video. So thank you all and see you in the next video.